Joining me today is Pastor Colin Smith of Unlocking the Bible and author of the new book, Heaven, How I Got Here, The Story of the Thief on the Cross. Now, Pastor Colin, the book talks about the thief's religious upbringing, and many of us can relate to that today. Uh, a lot of us are busy going to church and serving in our churches, even giving of our money. How does the story comment on the value of religion or religious practices? Yeah, um, it really points out the limitations of religion. Hmm. Um, uh, I assume that the thief would have had uh, a, a religious upbringing, as you say, Kristen. But look at his position. He's not lived a good life. Hmm. Here he is at the end of his life. There's nothing he can do to improve his life. You know, a lot of people have the idea that um, we get into heaven by living a good life, a religious life. What's the thief to do on that basis? I mean, he can't do any good works. His hands are nailed to the cross. He, he can't go and help somebody. His feet are nailed to the cross. Mm. What can he do? Uh, religion cannot help him at that point in his life, but Jesus can. And uh, so this is the great importance of him turning to Jesus a few feet away and saying, Jesus, would, would you remember me when you come into your kingdom? And Jesus says to him, today you will be with me in paradise. So Jesus is able to do for a person what religion can't. He's able to bring hope um, in a situation that otherwise would be utterly hopeless. Well, if you would like to read the entirety of the story of the thief on the cross, then come to our website, that's unlockingthebible.org, and there you can order Heaven, How I Got Here, The Story of the Thief on the Cross.